Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1072, the Get Well Charms, and you can check out all of our designs at karenberniston.com. There are seven individual dies in the set, and this is just such a great use for your scraps. I love these little charm sets for scraps. Plus, you can just cut them all at the same time. And in cases where you may want or need two pieces, you can definitely cut through two layers. You can use any die cutting machine that can accommodate a wafer thin die. And today I'm using a Sizzix Big Shot. And because I am going through two layers on some of the pieces, I rolled it through twice. Okay, let's start with Angry Germ. Now his eyes are cut out as holes, but the mouth is a stencil feature. So if you want to have that grimace on his face, just keep the paper in the die or put it back in the die. And then just use a pen to go in and draw in the mouth. Or if you'd like, you can sponge down through the die with some ink and a sponge. And I'm doing pretty much just the bare minimum of assembly today, but of course you might choose some spotted pattern paper, or maybe you're gonna ink those little tentacles on Jeremy. But when you go to do the eyes, you'll use the little piece that has the teeth on it. You don't really need the teeth for this germ, that's for when you're backing the other germ, so it doesn't really matter where the teeth are. They can just go anywhere. The idea is just to back those eye holes with a piece of paper so that you can go in and draw in the eyes however you would like them to be. So one of my favorite is just to draw in an oval that's maybe a little bit smaller, leaving a catch light, and you could even maybe add some angry eyebrows. So this germ is grumpy, but the other germ is happy. So to do that germ, there isn't much of a stencil feature this time because the eye and the mouth actually come out and get backed with that other little piece. But if you want to add those freckles, you can do that with a black pen, or of course you could probably just freehand that. So we're going to back Happy Germ with that same piece that we used on the Grumpy Germ. This time we do care where the teeth go. We want the teeth to extend towards the bottom down into the mouth opening. So just a little glue behind the eye, and then just put on that piece. And then to finish out the mouth, you just need a scrap of some color behind there to finish it out. So I used black today, but it would also look good to use a red or a dark pink. And then for the eye, once again, you can just draw it in there however you like. So I've done a little bit smaller oval than the opening and then filled it in, but left a little white showing as a catch light. Okay, for the tissue box charm, I cut through two layers so that I could show two different expressions that you might use on this charm. It is a stencil feature, so once again, you're just going to leave the paper in the die or put it back in the die, and then use a pen to draw in the eyes. And then if you would like the tissue to have that unhappy look, you know, of course, because this person's under the weather, then you'll just use the stencil as is. But you might prefer to have the tissue box be smiling. So in that case, you do the eyes as normal, but then you're just going to flip the die around so that the frown becomes a smile and then stencil that in. Okay, and then there's a separate die that cuts the tissues. And you just go in there and place it up behind the box so the tissues come through. You'll see that there's a little split in the piece next to the tissues themselves so that you can slide that up to the top of the box and then you just need to secure it with a little bit of glue or a glue dot. And as usual, I'm using my Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive in my fine tip bottle. We do sell both of those items on our website. Now the tissues themselves, you can push those forward a little bit for some dimension, or if you want even more dimension, they do have some decorative score lines in them, and if you want to, you could shape the entire tissue to kind of be rounded before you add that behind the box. But once again, it's just from behind the piece, making sure the tissues come through the box, slide the rest of the piece up until it's near the top, and then secure it with a little dot of glue. So two ways to style the tissue box, and of course a third way would be no face at all. Okay, moving on to the thermometer charm, there is a stencil feature to add the button and the display. And I'm going in and tracing those with a black pen, and then I will just fill those in with a marker. I've decided to make them both red. And then I also want to add just a little bit of gray out on the tip of the thermometer. So super quick assembly on that thermometer charm. So in this set you get all the charms, but then you also get the greeting that says get well soon. It is connected together, which is rather nice when you want to use that on the pop-ups. And speaking of pop-ups, here's a great one by Fran Sabad. 
In her case, she added googly eyes to the germs and she used the circle charm pop-up, which is a great little generic pop-up that is perfectly sized for all of our charm sets. And here's a great example of that Get Well Soon greeting being stacked and used on the front of a frame pull pop-up. This card is by Summer Hills Painter. And then here's a card by Karen Aiken, and I love her choice to have the crab holding the Get Well Soon. Some little spot detailing on that. And then inside the card, she's turned the octopus into a nurse, and I particularly like the way she styled the thermometer. A great little set for those Get Well cards, but you might also consider using those germs as monsters. If you click on the website link, you'll go to KarenBerniston.com where you can find out information about purchasing these dies as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.